Hey everyone! Today, we're breaking down the thrilling game between the USA and Belgium, which ended with a close score of 87-74 to in favor of the American team. But let's be honest, it wasn't as easy as it sounds. The intensity of the match was palpable, especially in the first quarter when Belgium came out swinging and managed to tie the game at 23 points. Cheryl Reeve, the head coach of Team USA, certainly had her hands full. You could see the tension on her face as she shuffled through her lineup, shouting instructions and searching for solutions. The Belgian team, led by the fierce Emma, who scored an impressive 24 points, put up a tough fight and was only six points behind in the third quarter. Despite the win, there are lingering questions about whether Reeve assembled the best possible team and whether her strategy is the right one moving forward. Reeve's roster decisions have sparked considerable debate. She included veterans like Chelsea Gray and Diana Taurasi, who undoubtedly command respect, but are they in their prime? Gray is coming off an injury, and while Taurasi is a legend, she isn't quite the powerhouse she was in previous years. Moreover, the question arises about the point guard situation. Kelsey Plum and Sabrina Ionescu are both incredibly talented, but they struggled to organize the offense effectively against Belgium. This lack of a pure point guard became evident as the game progressed. It seemed like the game plan was heavily reliant on stars Brianna Stewart and Aja Wilson. Yes, they are phenomenal players. Stewart scored 26 points and Wilson contributed 23 points along with 13 rebounds. But basketball is inherently a team sport. The coaching staff's heavy reliance on these two players raises concerns about how well-rounded and adaptable the team is. Many fans and analysts are questioning whether Reeve is prioritizing familiarity over current performance levels. The tournament is just beginning, and the strategies she employs could have lasting consequences as the competition heats up. One player whose absence was keenly felt was Caitlin Clark. Imagine the impact she could have had in this matchup. She's known for her exceptional playmaking skills, having recorded 19 assists in a single gaming NBA game this year. In contrast, Team USA only managed 26 assists against Belgium. Clark's energy, confidence, and ability to break down defenses could have significantly altered the game's dynamics. Another glaring omission was Angel Rees. The young forward is a rebounding and defensive force. Against Belgium, USA managed to dominate the boards, but Rees's presence would have further stifled Belgium's offensive opportunities, making it even tougher for them to capitalize on second-chance points. The implications of these absences extend beyond just gameplay. Clark and Reese are incredibly popular figures in women's basketball. Their presence on the Olympic team would not only enhance the squad's performance but also attract greater viewership and support for the women's game. While being left out of the Olympic team has its downsides, it has also provided Clark with a unique opportunity to recharge and focus on her development. In a recent interview, she mentioned using this time to step back from the digital distractions, read, and rejuvenate herself. Not only is she focusing on her basketball skills, but she is also working on her overall physical and mental conditioning. She's even incorporating activities like golf into her routine, which aids in building concentration and precision, two vital skills for any basketball player. Interestingly, while the Olympic stars are exerting themselves, Clark is preparing for a robust second half of the WNBA season with the Indiana Fever. Coach Christy Sides has recognized Clark's potential and is making strides to better utilize her talents within the team. After addressing the need for improved half-court defense and team chemistry, it's evident that there is a shift in mentality within the Fever. Now, let's turn our attention to the Indiana Fever and what we can anticipate for the remainder of the season. With 14 games left, predictions suggest that the team could realistically win between six to nine games. If they manage to secure six wins, they would finish the season with a 17-23 record. While it may not seem impressive at first glance, 
it represents significant progress compared to their rocky start. If the Fever can maintain their momentum, there's potential for them to reach the seventh seed in the playoffs. With Caitlin Clark's current form, they could prove to be a formidable opponent for any team, including powerhouses like the New York Liberty and the Las Vegas Aces. Additionally, Clark's chances of winning the Rookie of the Year award seem increasingly likely, as she leads her peers in multiple statistics. Key players like Kelsey Mitchell and Aaliyah Boston are also crucial to the team's success. If they continue to grow alongside Clark, the Fever could surprise many in the final stretch of the season. One cannot overlook the impact Caitlin Clark has had on viewership and popularity within the WNBA. The recent USA vs. Belgium game garnered an impressive 3 million viewers. Experts speculate that had Clark been on the Olympic team, viewership numbers could have skyrocketed to 5 or 6 million. Clark's arrival has already resulted in increased attendance for the Fever. In just five home games this season, they've surpassed their total attendance from the entire 2023 season. This rise in interest is a testament to her drawing power and how she is redefining what it means to be a rookie in the dubbing NBA. As we look ahead, the big question remains, can the Indiana Fever make a splash in the playoffs or will the weight of expectations prove too much for this young team? We are witnessing a revolution in the WNBA with Caitlin Clark at the forefront. However, it's important to recognize that the road won't be without challenges. More seasoned teams will be coming at the fever with everything they have, and how well they handle this pressure will be critical. Moreover, how will Coach Cheryl Reeve respond to criticism if the USA team fails to bring home the gold? The scrutiny surrounding her choices and the team's overall performance will likely prompt discussions about potential lineup changes for future competitions. In conclusion, the next few weeks promise to be fascinating as we see how these narratives unfold. Whether it's the trajectory of the USA Olympic team or the evolution of the Indiana Fever with Caitlin Clark leading the charge, the future of women's basketball looks bright. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Will the Fever surprise everyone and make a deep playoff run? How will Reeve handle the pressures of the Olympic stage? Leave your comments below, and if you enjoyed this analysis, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this analysis and want to stay updated on all things basketball, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support means the world to us and helps us bring you more exciting content. We're dedicated to delivering in-depth discussions, game breakdowns, and the latest news from the WNBA and beyond. Join our growing community of basketball fans, and let's dive deeper into the sport we love together. Don't miss out. Turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching, and we can't wait to see you in the next one.